Hey Siri. What is a déjà vu? Déjà vu is a French loanword expressing the feeling that one has lived through the present situation before. Should I keep going? Yes, please. Although some interpret déjà vu in a paranormal context, mainstream scientific approaches reject the explanation of déjà vu as precognition or prophecy. It is an anomaly of memory whereby, despite the strong sense of recollection, the time, place, and practical context of the previous experience are uncertain or believed to be impossible. Well, in here, in the next video, we're going to explain why that might be incorrect. The following video is an answer to a question from a Kabbalah student in which the Kabbalah student asks, do déjà vus maybe carry a deeper meaning in life? Do they play any role in Kabbalistic teachings? In this video, we're gonna go deeper into what a déjà vu is according to Kabbalah and where in ancient sources we can find an allusion or at least you know, some type of uh, explanation of what we in modern times we call déjà vu. Déjà vu is a French word that when translated means already seen. Also, it, it is translated as a feeling of having already experienced the present situation. Uh, in Kabbalah, a déjà vu basically has something to do with previous lives. And that's a topic that we're going to be exploring in this uh in this in this lesson so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to one of the sources that we have and that is the book Derech Hashem by Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lusato the way of God and in there in section 3 where it is called the soul inspiration and prophecy on the first uh, subject the soul and its influence in the section or paragraph number five it says the following the divine soul meaning the level of neshama also have experiences relating to its nature even though it is bound to the body it still has some access to the spiritual which is not precluded by its association with the body the spiritual associations of the soul the neshama however, have only a minimal effect on the human mind and its thoughts. Our sages thus teach us, and this comes from um, Megillah, the Talmud Megillah, even though a person does not see something, his masal, his destiny, sees it. And this is an allusion to deja vu. So this means that even though a person cannot see the future, the soul, or in this case, the, the, the masal, the soul knows you know what this destiny or what this is uh, uh is going to happen with the person and it says here what is this what this means is the matter of the higher words you know the spiritual realm uh do reach the divine soul but they do not reach man's thoughts and intellect so that the body reaction and awareness of them is next to nil so this is why when a person is experiencing some type of uh situation in life and that situation as a deja vu somehow the mind cannot explain it other than saying i think i have seen this happening before like this happened before to me or i experienced this before and it's because the soul already is or has experienced that uh remember we are in a lower realm in which we see ourselves as imperfect but According from the point of view of the Creator, we are perfect. We are in the world of perfection, the world of Hasilut. But down in our level, we see ourselves as imperfect, so we don't see these things that the soul already sees. And the body cannot explain, explain those uh, uh, things that the soul sees. So the soul sees these corrections that we need to do, and the soul actually can explain it in its own level but the body cannot explain it because the body cannot associate itself with the level of the soul if we go to ecclesiastes 
chapter 1 verse 9 in there we see also an allusion to this sense of deja vu and it says there that which was will be again and what was done will be done again there is nothing new under the sun what does this mean which means is that we need to understand as students of Kabbalah that even though we see ourselves, and once again we go to this uh, concept of us seeing ourselves as imperfect down here, however, we are perfect when it comes to the spiritual realm. When we talk about corrections and things like that, it's basically us manifesting or us trying to get to that level of perfection that we are already uh, we are already when it comes to the higher realm so when it comes to the deja vu the kabbalah says that this has to do with reincarnation and the memory of those incarnations that we have in the past and sometimes these deja vus are basically things that we need to correct and we know we need to correct and uh, but we don't know them from the level of this of the body remember the body does does not understand this only the soul and when we are in a situation in which something needs to be corrected or something is going to happen that is going to help our correction somehow our soul let the body know that something is happening here be aware and that's a good good experience you know to have in the sense that if you're aware and you are conscious of what's happening at that moment that's a great opportunity to understand identify that moment as a moment as a moment very important moment for your tikkun for your correction okay and remember the whole point of us living in this physical realm is to understand our correction or correction or, or tikkun is basically uh, transform our egoistic nature into a, an altruistic nature and this is what the soul is trying to communicate to us in this uh, way of uh, of basically having this experience of deja vu so some Kabbalist says you know that these deja vus are also past life flashes that we see in in front of us at that moment you know it's a glimpse of uh, also of the future for uh, some Kabbalists say uh, it's basically like a prophecy moment in which you're seeing something that is happening in front of you but you already saw it beforehand but you just don't remember that you saw it and that's exactly you know what a deja vu feels like right that you know this moment happened before but now you're experiencing it but what is the meaning of it this the, the soul knows but the body doesn't know now when we go deeper, what we need to understand is that the system, the spiritual system, the spiritual realm, makes our own pursuit, our own spiritual system. That is, you know, every man, every woman is a, is a pursuit, is a tree of life. It has ten sefirot, it has four levels of the soul. Uh, so we are basically a microcosm of the, of, the, of, the, of the macrocosm so we are going to be influenced by this whole bigger system that is above us which is an integral system we think that we're separated but we're not right so we're going to receive that influence from the upper realm this sensation of being uh, all of a sudden integrated into that system or this system basically bringing us to this level of sensation in which we feel one with it is going to create also some kind of uh, situation in which when we receive that influence it needs to go through our personality and if we are not ready for it we will not understand what it is and this is when he says you know when we receive the light we need to be able to create that right vessel for it so we can understand what is the purpose and correct our nature in this case we receive the light we receive this influence from above and it's going to appear to us like a deja vu meaning that we understand that this has something to do with something that we experienced before like we are remembering something and this in Kabbalah also is an important uh, concept 
because the concept of the regime of the memories in which we were in this perfect state in which we were receiving the light before we fell apart and the light when it departed from our vessel uh, left some kind of imprint or memory in it and that imprint and memory that was left in the vessel is what we call the spiritual DNA or the information about or spiritual life and evolution you know a spiritual evolution and as these memories of Hiroshima start awakening we will start receiving certain kind of influence from above that will start helping us achieve these corrections that we're supposed to get and when we're not connected a hundred percent and we're not conscious of what's happening uh, what was what's going to happen is the influence from above the light is gonna get to our vessel and because we're not conscious of what's happening we're gonna see it as a moment of deja vu something I saw this before uh, what's happening here right but the person that is connected to, to, to the spiritual realm that has this connection and is conscious is going to receive this influence from above and instead of asking what's happening here is going to recognize that moment as a moment of opportunity that was given to that person and that's when the person from taking it as a, something that is weird and not uh, like my mind is not working correct the person where it's going what the person is going to start thinking is this is an opportunity for me for the performance of a tikkun so i'm going to take but the opportunity that the creator is giving me by br bringing this influence into me even though the body doesn't understand it i will accept it and work with it because it is important for uh, our spiritual evolution and also for the connection with other souls so as we can see deja vu is a very important concept in Kabbalah it's not talk about a lot because uh, it, it's been basically discredited by psychologists and other people as uh, basically when you feel that moment uh, that you have seen this moment already the deja vu moment is because your brain is kind of tired or you just you know there's some kind of this, you know, unbalance in your mind it's not necessarily that you know when Kabbalah talks about deja vu it talks about it from a different point of view not from the point of the machine which is the brain but from the point of view of spirituality which is basically that force that controls that machine that we call the brain okay so remember we when we are experiencing this deja vu what we're experiencing is the influence from above and we are basically seeing at that moment an opportunity to perform tikkun we are having that moment of special prophecy at that moment in which we're seeing something that we already saw. The body will not understand it, but if you're conscious about what's happening and you continue studying Kabbalah, you will understand that these are opportunities given to us by the creator or nature or the universe, whatever you want to call it. Everything is one force, right? But this system, this, this integral system, is sending us that influence so we can correct ourselves. So do not be afraid when you feel, you know, that you have seen something or you're reliving something because it is an opportunity. Take it as an opportunity. Take it as a chance that the Creator is giving you to perform Tikkun. As always, I'm open for more questions and I'm willing to make more videos based on these questions. And... Uh, I wish you, you know, the best. Shalom, and I'll see you in the next uh, video.